this is Eddie at Microavionics. This is a technical video and it shows you how to mount a Microavionics headset to an Icaro helmet. It will also show you visor assembly. We've got the helmet, we've got the headset, let's see how we're going to mount it. We get the headset, click the brackets out on both sides. The helmet is in front of us, we've got to get the cable routing correct. Pass the headset straight through. That's stage one. Stage two, we get these little sticky washers and we stick them to the helmet. Do this on both sides. Stage three, we undo the bolt on the headset. There's a supplied bolt. We attach this to the helmet. Be very careful not to cross thread the screw. When tightening, don't go too tight. Now do the same on the opposite side. Now the headset's attached to the helmet, we've got to route the cable and attach that to the liner. The trick here, centralise the wire. So you pull it out both sides to get equal cable on both sides. You can now get the centre, push that down into the groove of the liner and apply a small piece of tape. You now need to apply two more pieces of tape to hold the cable at the sides. Put this assembly back and the fabric assembly. The headset is now attached to the helmet. Next, we're going to show you how to attach the visor to the helmet without damaging anything. We're going to attach the visor. It's very important you follow these procedures. Don't jump the procedure. So first, the aluminium goes through the visor, like so. At a point in the video, you'll see we have to locate this aluminium part into the visor. If we don't do this, you may risk damaging the visor assembly, like this. We get one of the washers, put it on the other side of the visor. Hold it carefully, and we're going to go into this fixing here. Be very careful not to cross thread the fixing. Loosely, we'll tighten up later. Now do the same to the other side. We're now going to tighten this screw. This is very important now to make sure the aluminium part locates into the visor properly, like so. That's now located. The screw has now stopped turning. I will not tighten anymore. Do the same to the opposite side. Now we're going to do one of the last stages and that is put in the countersunk screws into the visor here. You need to do this on both sides. You need to tighten this up so the visor has enough friction so the wind does not lift the visor up, like so. The wind will not lift the visor up when you turn your head. If it's too loose, tighten it up. You can tighten this at any time. The helmet is now done. If you're vlogging or you're flying an aircraft that flies at around 60 mile an hour, you may want to attach one of these mic socks to the mic. It simply goes over the microphone and then you can tie these strings in a knot. It will keep the wind off of the microphone and you'll have a clearer communication. We do a range of visors. They come in clear and they come in shaded and they'll come in short or long. You'll see here we've got the visors for the power motor. Most people will use a short visor. If you're flying ultralights, most people will use a long visor and that will keep the wind off of your face a little bit warmer in the winter. If you want to keep warmer when you're paramotoring, you may want to consider buying a long visor as well. You may already have your headset on a headband mount. You can convert that with helmet mount brackets. It is crucial to understand if you're converting a headband mount headset to helmet mount that ideally you would only use a short visor. The reason being is the microphone is in a different position for the headband mount. That doesn't mean you cannot fit a long visor, but you may catch the microphone boom on the bottom of the visor. You can simply tuck it in. But my tip 
is to use a short visor if you're converting a headset. This is the end of our technical video. I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, then please send us an email. Thank you.